has no problem. What are you doing here? I just thought I'd stop by and wish you luck. We don't need any luck. You're welcome, Chuck. No, I mean, we've been training. I know. Believe me, I know. So, are you gonna come and watch? No. Well, what's the big deal? I'm not interested in watching you get hurt. <laughs> oh, you think this is funny? Yeah, I do. You're not even married yet, and he's already pussy whipped. Oh, shut up. Honey, listen. I'm not gonna get hurt. It's only a sport. You call that a sport? Yeah. Where are you going? If that happens to you, you just remember I warned you. Hey, what about me? Oh, go to hell. Go out there and kick some ass. You got it. You coming? In a minute. Mr. Engelthaler, please report to maternity. Mr. Engelthaler to maternity. Thanks. This was his first fight, and he'll be lucky to heal in a month. Can't train forever. Sooner or later, you gotta fight. You don't have to match him with a guy 20 pounds heavier who's a known animal. Don't start with me, Johnny. I've seen you fight. It's not the same. Hey, Doc!
Detective, what brings you here? Well, we had a drive-by shooting. They're working on the kid right now. Listen, I understand you got a gang kid in here. He's not a gang member. Oh, really? Really. Detective Lopez, this is my cousin, Terry Wu. Yeah, how you doing? Listen, I hear this kid's got a couple of busted ribs. We fight in the ring. Yeah, and it's underground and not sanctioned. What do you do when you're not in the ring? Lopez, what is the problem? They're not out using drugs. They're not shooting people. Why don't you just leave them alone? Oh, I get it. This is kind of like numb. You guys like to stick together, don't you? Excuse me, but I'm off. Wait a minute. I'll fight this guy. I'll kick his butt right now. I have some Bruce Lee's favorite drink. What the Excuse me. I need some tea. Tea? You know, tea? And chopsticks. Right, chopsticks. Some got sick, some got well. My goodness, what are you doing? For booth three. The crazy that's a way to do it. Ten I didn't it. Fatin I got it. Oh, uh, masquerade ball. Um, you know, costume? <laughs> it's difficult to eat noodles with chopsticks. You speak English really well. Thank you. So do you.
finished? Yes, thank you. So, how was it? Good, very good. I usually have mushu pork. You should try General So's chicken. How specialty. Really? It's good to try something different. Don't forget your fortune cookie. What's up, sis? How are you? You know my sister, don't you? Where's Chuck? Here he comes. Oh my god! I warned you! I warned you! <laughs> <laughs> Up, man. You look like the guy I fought. He ain't pretty no more. <laughs> you really kicked some ass. I always do. He's the only one that did. <laughs> Come on. Where's the waiter? Come on. Go. That was our last round. I so put him down. Let me try. Right, right down. I see his head hit it. Nothing. PMS. Oh, shut up. Come on, we're just having fun. Just leave me alone. I didn't do anything. He's your brother. You know you were supposed to meet me here tonight alone? God, we never spent any time together. We're together now. Come on, guys, let's go. Come on. I'm gonna walk. No, I'm not hungry. I ate already. You go to bed. A hamburger. You know, Johnny, you really ought to come down to the fights Friday night. I'm too busy. Ah, come on. You can make time. I'm a doctor, not a fighter. I know better. I've seen you fight before. You beat him up, I patch him up. How'd you get home? I took a cab. What are you so mad at me for? Because you're an obnoxious jerk. Are you two fighting? Hey, you know, Chuck's fighting again next week. He'd really like it if you'd be there. Yeah, I'm sure he would. There's a lot of babes that like to be in Chuck's corner. Well, I wouldn't want to get in the way of any babes. Ah. Feels good.
is my son, Terry, and this is my nephew, Johnny. Tell son. This is Lei Ching Tong. She's daughter of Tong Yu, and she's studying to be a nurse. That's great. Johnny here is a doctor. An intern. Nice to meet you. Lee is going to help me with my laundry. You know, Johnny, I think you ought to settle down. It's getting kind of old. Old? Come on. I'll show you old. I've been working out a little bit. Yeah. Got a few tricks for you here. Okay, you Come ready? On. Ready for this? Come on. Young stuff's got plenty. Ready for this? Not bad for an old man. Had enough? No. Not yet. Okay. Not yet. All right. I got one more thing here for you. Okay. What do you got? Had enough? Yeah, come on. Had enough yet? Me? Did you know I taught Bruce Lee? Yeah, I was his teacher. Yeah, he didn't know how to swim until I taught him. Did you see me at the Johnny Carson show? Yeah, I was at fun rope. I was at the fun rope. <laughs> hey, yo, Chile, what? Hey! Hey, what have you been? Still pictures. Yeah. Wanna get some dinner? Just finished. What's this? Nothing. It's for work. Work at the circus? I gotta go.
What are you doing? I want to take a break. After one song? I didn't bring my helmet. You're still mad about last night. I'm not mad. No, I can tell you're still mad. Chuck, I'm not mad. Okay, fine. Fine. Want to dance? That would be nice. Hey, Chuck. Come here. I'll be right back. I promise. It's okay. Go ahead. Come on. Come on. Quan's in the hospital. What happened? Four surfers right in the middle of Venice. One of them was the guy I fought Friday night. I'd like to see them come to Chinatown and try this. Let's go find them. Wait a minute. I know where they are. And I think my crazy cousin's right in the middle of them. Well, well, well. What do we have here? You guys want to tell me what happened? You tell me. Well, it would appear your friend got his ass kicked. It sure does. I don't suppose anybody knows who did it. I don't know who did it. You guys know who did it? I think it was a police brutality case. What are you, a wise guy? Why don't you ask Kwong who did it? You guys don't seem to understand something. I can either be your friend, or I can be your biggest pain in the ass. That's a choice. It's a dodging time. Look, we don't know anything, but if we find something out, we'll let you know. Yeah, you do that. I'll be easy to find. I'll be right over your shoulder. Still over talking to Brad. It's a guy thing. Just dancing. Get out of the way. Hey. Come through. 
Move it. What the hell is this? Pearl Harbor? It came from my cousin. Yeah? In how many pieces? Get out of here. I don't get it, man. What the hell were you doing there? I met this girl the other night, and I wanted to talk to her. Couldn't use the telephone? I really like this girl. Too soon. What do you mean? First you find a good Chinese wife, then you get an American girlfriend. Today, I went to the market and I met Suk Chang. She's from Shanghai and she has a very nice daughter. Aunt May, I really appreciate you looking out for me, but please don't introduce me to any more women. Why not? I'm just not ready right now. Not ready? You are 32 years old. He's gone crazy over that guy, boy. Hi, boy. Is that true? He's in love. Huh. No, it's not true. I'm just... I just met her, that's all. Booth three? Hmm, so Yeah. Chuck was so pissed. We were just dancing. That's who you were dancing with. You know, this is cute. I think I'm gonna go try this on. This is really difficult for me to say, but you're driving me crazy. I can't eat, I can't sleep. My head's spinning, my heart's pounding. I was born in China. I had so many dreams of coming here, but I never imagined this. Maybe I was wrong to come. I only hope that you feel the same way. If you do, please come out and tell me. If not, I'll just leave. I won't cause you any more trouble. Thank you so much. Excuse me. What was that all about? I don't know. What did you say to him? I didn't say anything. You did all the talking. He's quite a talker. Uh, I think I'm in love. I don't see him. Maybe he's off tonight. Let's just go. Well, aren't you hungry? I don't think this is a good idea. Well, I'm hungry. Excuse me, your name, please. Uh, no reservation tonight. We're very, very bored. No ticket, no wash. Why? You didn't hold so you could eat so jail. You didn't go to the toilet, you know? Toilet, finally, toilet. 
Please, forgive us. Thank you. Sometimes they forget where they come from. Please, sit down. Julie, the guy is not here. Can we just go home? Come on. There was a waiter here last week named Johnny. No waiter named Johnny. Yes, last week. No waiter. Johnny is my nephew. Just to talk about Johnny being Sin Jing Bing. Ah, booth three. Do you know where I could find him? How old are you? Uh, twenty-two. Oh, good age to have children. I'm sorry. <laughs> What did you have for breakfast? Bacon and eggs. You do your own cooking? No McMuffin? No, no McMuffin. <laughs> do you have? Pain here. I feel fine. Pain in your heart. Maybe. Maybe you should go to a hospital. You think I should go to the hospital? I think I should go home. Thank you. I thought you were off. I need the overtime. Miss Marshall. What seems to be the trouble? Well, I haven't been feeling well lately. What are the symptoms? I don't have an appetite. Mm -hmm. And my head's been spinning, and my heart kind of pounding. Mm -hmm. And I've been having trouble sleeping. It's right. How does this feel? Look straight ahead. Take a deep breath. Good. Another one. So, what do you think I need? It's a good thing you came, Maria. Prepare the operating theater. We're going into immediate surgery. I need a bone saw and a rib spreader. A bone spreader? Right away, doctor. What you have is an extreme case of cardioinflammatory neuralgia brought on by increased abdominal pressure. I need surgery. There might be one other way to cure it. What? Have lunch with me tomorrow. I don't think I like you anymore. <laughs>
I'm sort of engaged. <laughs> We're supposed to get married next September. Congratulations. But I don't know if we are. Before you marry someone, you should be sure. I know. We've been going out for six years. Everybody just assumed we'd get married. Hell, I assumed it. But now... I don't know. When it's right, you'll know. So... We can at least be friends. Right. Well, good night. Good night. Where the hell have you been? Oh, you scared the shit out of me. What are you doing here in the dark? I've been waiting for you for three hours. Chuck, I forgot. You know, and all I ever hear from you is that we never spend enough time alone together. I'm sorry. And we're supposed to go to a movie and you forgot? You forgot! I said I'm sorry. Where were you? Um, well, I... You what? I, I was at work. You know that bitch, I... Wendy, you spend more time with her than you do with me. I'm sorry. What's wrong now? Nothing. Look at me. It's late. Chuck, no. But I want you. I don't want to do this. Fine. Why don't you give me a call when you do? Why is a surfboard like a toilet? Why? Because there's always an asshole on it. <laughs> You're right about that. When are you gonna find any assholes today? Maybe over there by the shitter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's go check it out. So, you guys got a yen for the beach? This is the guy that beat up Kwong? They all look alike to me. It took four of you surf rats to take care of Kwong. You got it worse. You gotta fight me. Come on, tough guy. What happened to you? Terry Wu and ten of his guys jumped me. When I get him in the ring, I'll kick his ass. We're not gonna wait to get anyone in the ring. I want all those assholes. Now! <laughs>
what is this? I'm tired of you guys coming to this country like you own the place. I was born here. Yeah, well, I saw what you guys did to Bud, man. Well, that was for what you did to Quan. Well, that little Buddha head shouldn't have been in Venice. Well, you Kendall shouldn't be here. <laughs> I want you. No, he's mine. You're best against our best. When? A month. You don't need time to train. <laughs> Sixth Street Bridge. Be there. Lopez! Hey, Doc, why don't you tell me again what upstanding citizens these gangs are? What are you talking about? It was just a war in Chinatown, and your cousin and his friends were right in the middle of it. What happened? Oh, you got three in your emergency room, and those are only the bystanders. I'm sure Terry wasn't involved. I was there. I'll talk to him. I'll find out what happened. Good, you do that. Let me acquaint you with a few facts of life here, pal. Gangs deal drugs. Now, where do they get these drugs? Sometimes these drugs disappear from hospitals. Get the hell out of here. I don't like you, and I resent the hell out of your implication. Oh, I'm not implying anything. I'm stating a fact. Well, I wouldn't know anything about that. Well, that's good, because if I find out you do, I'm going to be all over you like white on rice. Pardon the expression. So? So? So what happened? 20 quiet guys show up in Chinatown, standing around like they own the place. What do you think happened? Lopez showed up at the hospital. Johnny, what could I do? They tell Kwong they want to talk. I go. We argue. The guy kicks me in the head, and all hell breaks loose. All I'm saying is, Lopez is out to get you guys. This violence has got to stop. This is not my fault.
She isn't like what your brother does. It's more for health and meditation. But it's still a martial art. Let's go to the beach. I'll show you some of my secret Chinese techniques. <laughs> how it's going to defend anybody wise men say before you can conquer others you must first conquer yourself did you get that from confucius no <laughs> fortune cookie <laughs> Chinese New Year is the most important holiday of the year for us. On New Year's Eve, we have to pay off all our debts and start the year fresh. Everything has to be clean because today, we're not allowed to clean anything. Why not? Because you would sweep away all your good luck for the year. The dragon is the most powerful animal. He's very good luck. Are those dogs? No, they're lions. The yellow lions are the Peking. These are the Cantonese. Many years ago in China, a huge beast would come down from the mountains, the farms. He would eat all the crops and then steal away the children. One day, a lion came from the forest and scared away the beast. Ever since then, on New Year's, we do the dance of the lion to scare the evil spirits away for another year. Oh, and is this a true story? <laughs> You'll see them nibbling on the corners of the buildings because that's where the evil spirits hide. In the corners? Of course. And how do you know the evil spirits hide in the corners? 
Everybody knows that. You have to come to dinner with me tonight and have a traditional New Year's dinner with Aunt May. I can't do that. I'm not ready for it. Come on. I'm sorry, food is not so much. This is a feast. Oh no, it's not so much, but please eat anyway. Aunt May knows Chinese astrology. Ah, my uncle is a Xin Man, Xin Sang, that means fortune teller. And when the children in the family wants to get married, we send them to uncle. And he will say, is it okay or not? Julie's a year of the horse. What's the matter? The horse is good. Uh, they're very smart, strong-minded. But men don't like to marry a woman that is that smart and that strong-minded. But for a man that is strong-minded and is a tiger or a dragon, then it's okay. What year are you? Don't you know? No. He is a dragon. I just came to apologize. They're beautiful. I'm sorry about the other night. It's okay. You know, I do love you. I know. Why don't we go and have some dinner and then go dancing? Not tonight. I'm kind of tired. Come on, we'll have a good time. That's really sweet, but let's do it another time. with him. Grab that. Do you love Chuck? I thought I did. Now you're not sure. Well, I have been with Chuck since high school. <laughs> right. <laughs> and he still acts like he's in high school. Do you love him? I don't know. And the other man? Johnny. Johnny. Do you love him? Well, I don't know. You're having second thoughts. Well... This is not the end of the world. Maybe you should break the engagement. Everyone will understand. Actually, it's not that simple.
this is a problem. Especially considering how your father died. Well, he's not Vietnamese. He's from China. Julie, I don't care. But that isn't going to make any difference to Brad. Does he know? No. Well, my advice to you is not to let him find out. And another thing. Before this goes any further, you'd better make up your mind what you're going to do about Chuck. I better go. Bye. Ni chao. Ni gam mian chong na guai ni hui. Ni sat lai ya mo wa. Ting ya de shang go fao hai de. Everything's fine. What was that music I heard? Just the radio. How's Chuck? Okay, I guess. So everything's fine with you two, right? Same old, same old. That's good. Are you ready? Almost. Well, well. Warms my heart all over to see race relations improving in our city. What do you want? There's a storm brewing in the streets. I thought you might be able to tell me where and when. I don't know what you're talking about. No, you never do. Well, miss, what does your family think of this little arrangement? Just leave her out of this. And you tell your cousin I've had it with the gang wars going on on my streets. It's beautiful. 
so are you. How's it going? Good. Julie be out in a sec. Thanks. Have you been spending a lot of time with her lately? Yeah. Hi, sweetie. What are you doing here? Well, I thought I'd take you out to lunch. Okay. I'll be back in an hour. Okay. Have fun. So, what do you want to eat? I'm not hungry. So, what's wrong? Chuck, we need to talk. So, talk. What's this? I need more time. Well, the wedding's not for seven months. Isn't that enough time? I need time alone. No, that's not true. Don't you love me? <laughs> All right. Who is it? Chuck, please. Is it that guy at the dance? That yellow piece of shit? Is that who's behind this? It's a person, not a color. You bitch! He's not gonna be a person much longer. You tell your friend to come and watch Brad take Terry apart tonight. And for round two, I'm gonna kick his ass. Whatever happened to it's just a sport. Well, this one isn't for sport. Here, flush it down the toilet. You've been training pretty hard lately. Yep. Harder than usual? Just trying to stay in shape. I hear there's a big fight tonight. Really? I didn't hear anything about that. Don't lie to me. So what do you want from me? Why didn't you tell me? You have to know everything? Oh! I want you to call it off. What do you care? I'm dating his sister. So? Ah! All my life, I've been pissed on by these assholes. Just because I'm Asian, I get shit about Vietnam, I get shit about Japan. You don't have to tell me. Well, tonight it's payback time. <gasps> you can find hate everywhere, but the important thing's finding love. Love? I'm in love with her. Well, how am I going to call the fight off? How's it going to look? To hell with them. You're not the one losing face. Okay. Tell them you want to fight the way they used to in Thailand. You mean with the broken glass on the hands? Are you nuts? Look, this way he'll be the one who's backing down. What if he doesn't? <laughs> He's not crazy. Okay. Hi. Is anybody here? No. I talked to Brad and couldn't stop him. He's taken care of. They're not going to fight. What did you do? I talked with Terry. And he listened? Yeah. Oh, thank God. <laughs>
Hope you made out your will. I'm only gonna do this one way. Yeah? We fight Thai style with broken glass. Let's do it. Terry not to fight. In the old days in Thailand, fighters used to fight with glass on their fists. I told Terry to tell your brother that uh, that's the only way he'd fight. That way Brad would be the one to back down. He's crazy. He'll do it. Come on. Get up. Fight you, Brad.
You're going to the funeral? Yep. I don't think that's such a good idea. I really don't care what you think anymore. Would you tell me how you could leave Chuck for that gook? Because I love him. And I'll marry him if he wants me. You'll marry that guy over my dead body. Don't you think you've caused enough trouble? You killed his cousin. Look, I didn't mean to kill him. He's the one who came up with the idea. But I can't say my heart's pumping piss water because there's one less slope in the world. I'm leaving. You're not going to the funeral. Brad, you are not my keeper. You don't tell me what to do. I'm late. I'll see you there. Don't you dare. You don't seem to understand, Julie. I mean business about this. You may have another funeral to attend tomorrow. Come to pay our respects. Please, just leave. We came for her. Let's go, Julie. You're not staying here. You're coming home now. Come on. Come on. You want me? I'm here. Let's go. Come on. Now, get your hands up. Back off, punk. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Now. Let's go. For God's sakes, this is a funeral. Julie, what do you think you're doing here? Julie. Tony, I don't love you. Julie, please. I was just using you to make Chuck jealous. I never broke the engagement. I don't believe it. No, you don't. I believe this. Chuck, wait for me. I'm coming. Doctor? Detective? I thought you might like to know we arrested Brad Marshall. When? Yesterday. And how long did you keep him? I don't know. No, you don't know. This morning he showed up at Terry's funeral. Well, he made bail. So what good did it do? Is this your example of trusting the system? He'll go to trial. Yeah, and get probation. Look, I'm doing it. I don't care. 
just leave me alone. talk about this? No. Nope. Why don't you call him? What for? Because you love him. I hate him. The opposite of love is not hate. Oh, really? Well, what is? Apathy. Well, that's me. I couldn't care less. Then, uh, you wouldn't mind if I took this? Excuse me for saying so, but there is one thing consistent with both our cultures. What's that? When it comes to women, men are stupid. They certainly baffle me. Are you afraid to work, to struggle, to persist? Mrs. Marshall, I don't know if you have any idea how difficult it is to get out of China or to learn a new language and get through med school. But I spent my whole life persisting. Then why did you give up Julie so easily? I don't love her. Hogwash. She doesn't love me. More hogwash. This has been taped to her mirror since the first night you met. Right leg, five, six, seven, go. One, two, three, four, that side. Two, three, good, great, fine. Big on two, three, good, turn it here. One, two, three, good, lunge, right leg. One, two, three, double here. Good. And press, keep it going from the top. One, two, three, step side. Oh my God. What are you doing here? Why did you come here? Because I love you. And I can't live without you. You can't live, period. I don't want to fight you, Brad. I don't think you have a choice. Brad, stay out of this, please.
That's enough, Brad. sister again and I'll kill you. Stay down. Put pressure here. Thank you.